Hello friends, I have a complicated scenario here. So I have bought my domain and hosting in Hostinger. And then I have my name servers in Cloudflare, as you can see. Now I want to create a subdomain and install WordPress in that subdomain. Now you can see that we have our name here in Cloudflare. And we have our hosting here in Hostinger. And now I want to create a subdomain and install WordPress in it. So how do we do it? Now, first go to your hosting. Then click on websites. Then look at the website that you want to create a subdomain. So I want to create a subdomain here. So I'm going to click on manage. Then down here, you're going to see domains, expand. Then you're going to see subdomains. So click on it. I'm going to create the subdomain that I want. So I want a, subdom a subdomain called tools. So it will be tools at mydomain.com. Then I want to create a custom folder. This is really important. Then you can put here underscore underscore then the name of the subdomain this is just uh, to help you locate the folder where your files will be installed so create and with that we have a new subdomain that has been created now when you are done with that go click on dashboard and then expand c details then you are going to copy your IP address here. This will be very important, very important because we, we are going to use this to point the to point the subdomain from Cloudflare to now here. So just copy it. Then go to your Cloudflare and now click the domain that you want to add the subdomain. Then click on DNS. Now add a record. And we are going to add an A record. So just write here the name of the subdomain. And you can see it's here. And it's pointing where? So it's pointing to your, to the address that we have just copied here. So your subdomain is pointing to your hosting here so when you're done with that just click on save good so you can see i had created another one here and it's called create so it's create at davissene.com and i'll show you i'll just show you that it went through well so we are going to go back to our hosting account And then from here, we can be able now to click on websites. And we can see we have now our subdomain here. Tools at your name, the one that you have just created. But now we want to add now WordPress in this subdomain. Remember this subdomain is not yet live. So, but let us just go and add the or let us go and install the wordpress website here so click on manage then expand on websites and you'll see auto installer click on it now we are going to select wordpress now we are going to call our name the name of the website tools then the administrator email, maybe it will be this. Maybe the username will be this. You can create the password here. Like that. And please note here. And very be very careful here because if you are not, you, your files will be overridden. So click on advanced. And now you are going to um select the folder where i mean the subdomain that we have just created so click on expand here then you're going to click on tools 
and then you are going to click on next so with that you are ok so click on install and just like that your wordpress will be installed so there's some settings that i like you to add for example you have to turn this on so that your ssl will be installed then when you're done just click on admin panel and you can be able to see when you have created your subdomain and you have installed your wordpress website as you can see here so sometimes it takes time between maybe 24 hours and 48 hours so you can be patient if it's not going to be automatically so if you will have a problem or you will want some help from me just contact me through this email thank you for watching if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if the and if this video has been helpful to you please like thank you and see you on the next one